is we're going to kind of take it down a notch. We're just kind of going to go slow and talk a lot about this tribe uh, content syndication. So I know a lot of people that are in here um, that are listening to this and are watching this totally understand the whole syndication model and, and are getting it. But I just want to bring it up and make sure we cover everything tonight in just in case anybody needs any extra clarification. And I'm going to show you some pretty cool things about the difference between self-syndication and tribe syndication. But before that, we want to also talk about what is a tribe. We're going to cover a little bit more about this. And this is one of the, the things I ran into several months ago that really kind of kicked this off for me and why I seek out a few people, the people that you're talking with tonight or that you're hearing from in our whole tribe intensive course, and what this gels. It's just phenomenal. So this whole syndication thing just really blew my mind. When I read this it, and I heard about tribes and I, I heard about people paying it forward and and I watch people in action, I'm like, that's what I want to do. That's the concept I want to get behind, and that's part of my passion. Nick's passion carries Eric's, John's, Mike's, everybody's. We just want to give it away, and we want everybody else to kind of give it away. So we want to give you all kinds of resources, all kinds of tools to be able to do that. So this is what I'm really excited about. So this little phrase right here just really got me pumped up. Um, two other quotes that I really liked about tribes, and I'm doing this to really kind of set that mind state, just like Nick did in the beginning. What is it that we're going to be give, talking tonight um, and giving you is about the tribes and about the syndication, the content and the syndication, all about, again, just like you've heard before, building those relationships. So leading and connecting with people. This is what Seth Godin talked about. Your actions inspire others to dream more and learn more. You are a leader. That's what John Quincy Adams said more than 150 years ago. So what is the code of a tribe? And I kind of talked a lot about this on our Tribe 1.0, but I want to bring it up again. Yeah, a tribe is kind of like there's an outline, so to speak, or a set of guidelines that the group kind of agrees upon. And it's not set in stone by any means. A tribe or a mastermind alliance can literally change. You can have a different vision. This is just kind of some of the beliefs that we've all kind of adopted and moved forward with. You want to meet weekly and create that syndication time. You want to be able to get on a call. Like we use Skype often, so I know everybody, almost everybody's on our Tribe Tuesday calls now, which is phenomenal. So they're hearing all about this and stuff. And you already see and hear the power behind that. When you can hear other people, when you can take it offline and online at the same time, when you get to syndicate each other and listen to each other, what's working well, what's not working well. Hey, that's a great plugin. How did you do that? be able to take the information that we're literally throwing at you and being able to see how other people implement it or what other people are doing on their blogs is great. But to hear that connection is just so powerful. So, you know, another thing that we want to make sure everybody has or tries to have is a new uh, blog post or a piece of content on their blog for syndication. It helps bring that accountability. It helps to everybody kind of be in unison. It doesn't really make a lot of sense if one person's leading the charge and four or five other people are just kind of like hanging out, you know what I mean? And I know Kerry can kind of talk a lot about that, how he was in several groups or tribes before he joined ours or helped create ours. And, there, you know, some people would swing by and some people wouldn't. If everybody has the same vision, everybody has the same passion, then you know you have a great tribe. And it may take a while to get there. Uh, you want to retweet each other's posts. You want to comment on each other's posts. We're going to cover this more in a little bit more detail in a minute. Um, but you can, in addition to that, buzz each other throughout the week as well. I know it's a little difficult when everybody's getting busy. You can, there, there's some automated tools, but it's definitely great to just take five, ten minutes and kind of swing by somebody's blog or swing by their Twitter or their Facebook. In fact, there's so many ways between Twitter and Facebook to just create the list and create the groups that it's just so easy now to just hit that list and I can go down my, my tribe's uh, pages and uh, on Facebook or their faces and I can just kind of comment, like, comment, like, and five or ten minutes. And it, yeah, it, some people may say, well, you're not putting a whole lot into it. Well, I am putting a ton into that by just doing that one thing. One, it creates that social buzz, it creates that social proof and that interaction and it builds that relationships even more. So that's definitely a powerful thing that can be done in only a few minutes. It's the consistency. It's not always the amount of time. Um, some other things that we like to do is make sure that the tribe kind of is, is exchanging ideas and that they're growing with each other and stuff. So if you have a tight tribe like we do, we've created projects and ideas and there's more ideas we're coming up with all the time. If you listen to our boardroom meetings that we have, the, it's literally just ideas coming up the wazoo and we literally have to backtrack and say, okay, focus on this, focus on this. But you know you're in a good place and in a good tribe and a good community when those things happen all the time. 
and it is not forced at all. So this whole mastermind, blogging, tribe, alliance, all that stuff, just I can't impress enough how important it is to just go find those people and connect with those people. They don't have to be in your business. They can be outside of your business. They can be in your business. You All kinds of different stuff. Some of the other things we like to do um, is kind of trade ideas and stuff as long as trade resources. So if someone has is really good technical or savvy and somebody's good at the, the front of the house, so to speak, with the sales and stuff, this is something that our tribe is really gelled with. We have a couple of people that are, that are great out front. We have a couple of people that are great in the back. And so we've all learned how to benefit from that and how everybody can benefit from the whole program, from the whole tribe. You kind of want to make uh, you, your tribe super affiliate. So let's say you go outside um, and you have something's come up where somebody's offered you a joint venture deal or something like that. You want to bring it to your tribe as maybe see if they can leverage that as well. If you can help them or they can help you in other ways or make them a super affiliate of some kind or give them the best deal. It's better than what's on the street. That's a whole thing. Again, your tribe is like your family. The, um, some other big, you want to be your biggest cheerleaders and your top commentators. You want to make sure that you're, you're ranked pretty high with that group. You want to be that biggest supporter. People are watching us, and now they're watching you. But like it or not, people are definitely watching you. We know it because we hear it all the time. We, people are seeing the rank of Tribe Tuesday. They see it happen all the time. It's like clockwork all the time. It comes up. You, Kerry showed it on his blog spikes. Every Tuesday it comes up and it comes down, and it starts to go down by Wednesday or Thursday, but it goes right back up again. But each week that wave is getting higher and higher and higher. And it's the big vision where people are really sticking around for this. Also, anything that comes up within a, that a tribe agrees upon, again, it's a, your mastermind alliance. When you go connect with your tribe, when you go build your communities, you want to you know, find out something that everybody's like, especially whatever's in your niche or what in your passion. So who should be in your tribe? Tribe members can be in the same niche um, generally. You want to, again, about that passion, something that you're interested in is that way you don't have to force it. It just goes naturally, and then you can attract those people, and you come up and brainstorm faster, and things are just happening without, again, without forcing it. So anything from internet marketing to underwater basket weaving, and I tell you, I thought that was a bonehead class, but there are groups and fan pages and, and tweets and videos. I checked this out uh, about a month ago. I just typed in underwater basket weaving just to see, and it is everywhere. There are literally serious people about this. So if I wanted to be in that type of niche, I can certainly go and tackle the market with this information and bring those people to my tribe and go create a product around it in a heartbeat. Uh, tribe members should also be active as you on the social media sites as well, relatively so. I mean, if you have somebody that just dominates and then somebody that lags behind, you know, you only move as fast as your weakest link. It's kind of like a team of horses. So if you're all gelling together and you're all pushing forward and you're all relatively at the same speed or the same level, it is phenomenal what you can do. Tribe members should also, again, share the same vision for the tribe.